What's up everyone? I'm Aaron the Toy Enhancer and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at Power of the Force again. With it being the month of May, we are going to do some Star Wars. And this is something that I picked up off of eBay. Never had it before. And it's a 3 day, a 3D diorama okay, display. Jabba's Palace. So I thought that was really cool. It's got uh it's got Han Solo in the carbonite there. And then uh it has some background, so I'm eager to dip into this and kind of see what it's gonna look like. And I figured what no better time to uh open the three D Jabba's Palace, you know, but also open up Jabba the Hut. Of course with Han Solo. So we'll have two Han Solos, and Jabba, and his palace. And we can continue from there. So I'm going to start with Jabba first, guys. Let's crack this open and see what he's all about. everyone so this is what Han's looking like out of package not too bad the blaster barely fits in his uh, right hand it seems like the left hand was um, sculpted a little better for the blaster but his holster is on his right leg so you think he'd be right-handed and of course we did not get the satisfaction of being able to put the gun in the holster. Dang it. He only has five points of articulation, nothing at the waist, just at the hips, the shoulders, and the neck. All right. Let's see how hard it is to stand Han. These figures can be it's quite the challenge to stand up. See if we can lower his gun down. All right, so we got him up. Now let's take a look at Jabba. I've never even had a Jabba, so you know this is the Power of the Forest version. His eyes look cool. They are like a marble gloss. It kind of looks like it follows you almost. It's weird, weird looking. And um, as you move his body. His tail goes. I thought that was really cool. Did not know it had that feature. So Jabba turns this way. His arms do articulate. Do come up. Pretty cool looking. Not too bad. Now we can, now that we have Jabba and Han, we can at least get into this. And this is what I'm excited to see. I know it's going to just be cardboard, but I want to see what this is going to look like. So, without further ado, let's crack open the 3D Jabba Palace from Power of the Force. Really quick, guys, there's just one more figure that I absolutely felt like I had to open up during this um, Job of the Hut Palace, and that is my Boba Fett. Need to open the Power of the Force Boba Fett. Gotta get this guy released. Why? Because he looks so damn good standing next to everyone else. And it's freaking Boba Fett. I mean, what the heck, bro? Let's pop him off the card right here. If it's going to happen. Wow. Did a nice seal job on there. Let's get this guy some air. Yes. We got his backpack. Blaster. 
All right. Feels good. He's got his uh. You know, he's got some mass to him. He actually has a little bit of weight to him. Not like the other figures. He's got his cloak that droops over there. He's got his wookie hair, braided wookie hair on his shoulder. Nice. He's looking tough and buff, man. Let's see. I guess the backpack slides on like that very nice rocket does not release at least i don't think it does nah stays in there sweet we're gonna leave it in there because it looks super sweet man he's got his little radar scanner thing up there he's looking dope i like him Let's see if we can get this gun in his hand Bam. Nice. Not the most articulated figure, but damn, he's looking good. I'm liking it. Liking it, you guys. And uh yeah, he's uh, he was always in Job of the Hut's palace. So I just I felt like I had to open him up, you know? Felt like I had to get him on the floor. Um, you guys seen him, you know, in that first scene when you, uh, when you walk in, but God, this guy's going to be hard to stand up with a backpack. That's for sure. Power of the force guys are so hard to stand. Why? I do not know, but it is quite the task. You almost have to use the force, if you know what I mean. See if we can get him to stand. Come on, Boba Fett. You can do it just for a little bit. And you can just fall over after the review is done. <laughs> but yeah, I had to sneak him in there really quick. Tell me what you guys think of Boba Fett. All right, everyone. So this is Jabba's Palace. It, uh, it wasn't too hard to put together. It was kind of like a pop-up storybook you had to fold things and tuck tabs in and put everything together there was instructions so it was pretty good on that i got to say for just cardboard it does look pretty cool i'm definitely going to put it on a shelf somewhere and and set it up it's it's that worthy of shelf space um it did come with the carbonite body mold and this is what this Han looks like he does have a pair of handcuffs and he is he does have a swivel at the elbow that's the first time I've seen a swivel at the elbow on these figs and uh, he has a swivel at the waist also wow pretty cool he does fit into there perfectly but yeah, I'm pretty sure they gave him a swivel at the elbow so you can put the handcuffs on them and, and they just they just snap on. Sorry, I got paint all over my hands, guys. Pretty cool. Definitely uh different, you know, from this Han. And this is when he, you know, of course, when he was captured on the Death Star right here, and you know, they they froze him. And uh, he said those famous last words to Leia. Leia was like, I love you. And Han was like, I know. So that's what I say to my woman every time she tells me she loves me. It drives her nuts, but she knows what it's from. I just have to say, I know, Missy. I know. All right. So these pretty. it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. Will I be able to stand a figure on it? You know, that's to be determined. Will he fall over? We will soon see. Let's get some figs out here. Kind of. Because the cardboard is. Oh, wow. How about that? All right. And then the, uh, the carbonite thing, you know, should go over here on the wall kind of deal. If that's what I remember correctly. 
And, of course, Jabba's big butt. We need to get him over here on his little, his little chill stand, right? There it is. I have to admit, um, that's not half bad, especially for the price I paid. It looks pretty decent. I'm, I'm pretty impressed, actually. So this is uh, Jabba's Palace from the Power of the Force. And uh, a cool part is in, in one of these things that we just opened. I know we opened two. They put in one of these books. And I thought it was Star Wars toys. It is the Kenner wine. Oh my goodness. So you can go through, reminisce, you know, about the 90s I guess here. And it does have Star Wars in it. But Batman, I mean Superman. There's all kinds of toys in here. So I like looking through these old books. I collect a lot of them. And um, wow. I mean, they got all kinds of stuff in here. Man, oh man. You can reminisce or maybe some find something that you didn't have in your collection. Here's Jurassic Park. So I love these old books. And this one, <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. This one is thick. We're actually skipping through some pages. It's got starting lineup. Beast Wars is in here. Holy crap. Yeah, it's just a lot. It's a lot. All kinds of toys. Pretty cool. And I, I, I'm excited to open the next one. I, I forget what it is, but there is another 3D um, diorama kit. I think it's the bar. I think it's the bar scene where Luke, Luke and Ben are in the bar. But man, yeah, I didn't know what to think of this. And honestly, I mean, hell yeah, I'm going to put it on the shelf, man. It looks good. It looks that good. Uh, I'm pretty impressed. And again, like sometimes you don't know these things until you open stuff up. That's why I love opening toys. Don't get me wrong. I still have a lot of toys in boxes that I won't open up or I'm collect. I collect in box also, but there's nothing more joyful than opening a toy and actually getting your hands on it to just experience it. So if you haven't done so already, please give a like, subscribe, and follow me for more future reviews. And I'll catch you on the next time.